Hello everyone, welcome back to RL Studio. In today's video, I'm going to show off a resource pack that I made that I like to call NDM or Name Dependent Models. And um, as you can see, um, what I have here is basically an example pack to um, show you how to use a certain feature in Bedrock Edition. Um, and what we have here is um, an armor stand, basically. And this feature allows you to rename armor stands and it can change the model or the texture and as you can see it's pretty sick um so yeah this is like i said this is basically an example pack so if you want to make your own custom models you are going to have to um know a little bit about minecraft develop bedrock um resource pack development and that kind of stuff and editing json files and stuff so this is just a little warning because um, I will show off how to make um, custom models or I'll show you how, how you get, need to edit the file, but you are going to need some knowledge of how things work. The other thing you're going to need to know is how to use Blockbench and Blockbench is a um, basically a software that allows you to model your own entities for Bedrock Edition and also Java Edition as well. Um, but it's a it's a very useful program that helps you, you know, create these models. So uh, I'm not going to show off how to use Blockbench in this uh, video. Uh, if you want to learn how to use Blockbench, I'll probably provide a tutorial right around now at the top of the screen. Um, if it's not there, then I'll also provide it in the description as well. Um, so yeah, but you're going to have to do that. Um, so make sure to learn Blockbench um and then create a model once you have a model come back to this video and i'll show you how to import it into this example pack i forgot to mention it in the tutorial i already kind of recorded it this is future ryan here um you're going to need a pc to do all of the stuff to make like a custom model um uh, for this pack um you can't do it on phones or uh xboxes or consoles or anything to my knowledge at least so you're gonna have to do use a uh, PC um, to do all this stuff. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's uh, get into the tutorial. Okay, so when you've got your block bench model all figured out and your texture, I recommend putting those uh, files on your desktop for now. And um, you're gonna want to come uh, go to your Minecraft directory, uh, which I'll put the file path up on screen right now. Make sure you have uh, view hidden files uh, checked uh, in your file explorer and uh, you're going to want to follow, follow this path right here. Now if you downloaded my example pack it should be uh, underneath resource packs. It automatically downloads there. Um, but for this tutorial um, like I said it's not in here so you're going to want to copy that or cut that file um, just right click and cut and then paste it into your developmental resource pack folder. Basically what the dev, uh, developmental resource pack folder does is whenever you make a change, it automatically updates in uh, Minecraft. So you don't have to reload the resource pack or anything. You don't have to quit the game and then restart it. Um, and this just makes it easier to create, um, like uh, develop a resource pack. So we're going to go into the name dependent resource pack, which is right here, and uh, go to models. And first drop in our, we're just going to drag and drop our new uh, model that we made. Mine is a cube. Um, I made something really simple. Uh, and then we're also going to go back um, a bit and go into textures, NDM, and then drag and drop our uh, your texture into here as well. Alright, so I'm going to try to explain this again because the first time I explained it, it was a little bit... Uh, confusing. So what you're going to want to do is edit two files. Now the two files that we're going to edit are an entity. This is the first one, the armor stand entity, and then the render controllers, the armor stand render controller. Now I'm going to talk about the entity first and um, basically um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go online and download the vanilla resource pack like the base game like the uh, resources for the base game the textures for the base game and uh, you're going to want to copy over an entity file and paste it in here 
Um, you can use the armor stand entity in here in the example pack if you if you would like to. It is just the armor stand entity. It's not really modified. It's not like another armor stand. It is the same armor stand. Um, but uh, you're going to want to copy over one of those files because you can do this with any entity you would like. It could be a pig, it could be a cow, a wither skeleton. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you can copy over any of that. Um, and then you're also going to want to copy over whatever mob or entity's tech, uh, render controller into here as well. Um, so you're going to want to copy that. And you're also going to want to rename that uh, render controller as well because before it was the armor stand dot render controller and then I renamed it to armor stand underscore NDM render, control render controller. And the reason why you want to rename it is because you don't want the game to get confused and try to use the vanilla default render controller over this custom one. Um, it just will, it sometimes will get confused in certain situations. So we want to make sure that this is the one that we need to use. So once you've done that, once you've copied over your armor stand entity, um, or whatever entity, entity file, whatever entity file you copied over, um, you're going to want to open this up these two files up. Now you could open it up with a uh, notepad or notepad plus plus and that will work. You can edit it with that. But I would recommend um, downloading Visual Studio Code because we can get some plugins that will kind of point out mistakes and errors that we make. So when you open up Visual Studio Code, if you're using Visual Studio Code, you're going to want to install a few extensions. Um, one of them is Blockceptions Minecraft Bedrock Development. Another one is the JSON bias syntax, and then we also have the Minecraft JSON uh, extension, as well as Bedrock definitions and JSON as well. Um, and that should be everything. Everything else is just extensions for other project of mine. Um, and once you install all those extensions, they should point out how to uh, like they should point out errors if you have any. And we also have both of the files open. Now the first file we're going to modify is the armor stand entity. If you're not that familiar with uh, editing JSON files, I recommend just copying pa and pasting code in my um, example pack because you know JSON is very um, picky. I would say uh, if you mess up one thing, everything just doesn't work. Nothing in that file works. So um, yeah, you got to make sure that you don't mess up anything. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to mo modify the armor stand entity first. And the first thing I'm going to do before I mess with any of this, I'm going to change the render controller to the render controller name that I have here. M D M. All right. So that is what we renamed the file. Oh, and we also want to go over to the other file and change that name as well right there. Okay. Um, so it's going to usually look like that. And we're going to change it to armor stand and DM okay so we want to make sure that basically this file is saying hey I'm looking for the control render controller render dot armor stand and DM and right here that's right there controller render armor stand and DM so make sure that those two match um, whatever you whatever entity you're using should have um, similar render controllers so First thing we're going to want to modify in the entity file is this right here. We're going to modify the textures um, code right here. So I'm going to add a comma. I'm just going to copy this. Oh, oh, oh okay. Control Z if you make an, uh, an error. That's for undo. And Control C to copy. Enter. And then Control V to paste. And uh, I'm going to rename this to my cube that I made and uh, I'm going to also rename this to cube here uh, make sure that you get the name right uh, for your model um, whatever you named it in block bench it should be the same um, so yeah just make sure you get that right and then you're also going to do the same thing here for the geometry uh, copy this and we're gonna paste this right here and we're going to rename this to cube. And same thing for this as well. We're going to do this. 
So make sure that you have these commas in there if you have multiple, because then it, if, if you don't, it won't work. And yeah, so make sure that you also have a geometry as well. Every single entity should have a geometry already in there, a default geometry. So it shouldn't be too easy to add your custom geometry. And that's pretty much it for the entity file. It's not that hard to modify. Um, the armor stand or what the entity render controller though that's when it gets a little hard also make sure to control s and save your file um the render controller is a little bit more difficult so let me walk you through this first of all make sure that you rename this we already mentioned that make sure that that is the same as this uh and then you're going to want to add um a, another you're going to copy and paste this right here and change the corpse to Q, uh, as you see right here. That adds in our cube to the texture set, or yeah, and then um, change the geometry. Now this is a little bit complicated. This is where the magic happens in this pack. So I'm gonna try to explain this to you. This is basically saying if name is corpse, uh, geometry, give it the corpse geometry. Now the corpse is the skeleton that I made. Um, and give it the geometry of the corpse, right? And then it also has a little sub if statement as well. So if it is corpse with a capital C, if you named it corpse with a capital C, then give it the geometry of the corpse as well. And then it will move on to the turkey, which is another, uh, whoops, I accidentally resized the screen there. Hold on, let me fix that. Um, if you rename it, if you, yeah, if you name it turkey, it will name it turkey and stuff. And this is for the geometry. And we also do the same thing for the texture as well. So if the name is corpse, give it the corpse texture. So to add in our own, we just have to copy and paste um, all the way up until where is it starts doing turkey. Now this is a little uh, annoying. Um, I'm just going to scroll here. So right at until here, until this uh, colon right here, you're going to copy until there. So control C and you're going to want to add a uh, parenthesis right there. And then control V. And then now we have two corpses in here, as you can see, two corpse line uh, code lines or whatever. Two uh, corpses. So um, now you're going to want to rename this corpse into Q and same for this as well make sure that you rename the dot ge or geometry dot um, to Q and then rename this to Q but with a capital C this time so if you name it with a capital Q yeah if you name it with a capital it works still it's just the cube as well and then yep that looks all good uh, but we added two parentheses here at the start. Well, technically we added one, but now um, when we copy and pasted it, there's also another one. So we need to add two at the end here. Um, if you don't add this, then your uh, entity will be invisible and it won't render. Um, and we can also double check to make sure that we have enough, uh, enough parentheses. So we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, and six. So at the end, we should have six as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we do. And yeah, so the geometry should be all good. And now we have to do the texture and the texture is the exact same thing. I want to copy this code right here. And then control C and then grab or uh, put down a parenthesis and then control V, and then rename all of this, rename this to cube, and then to cube, and then cap, uh, a cube with a capital C. Um, whoops, I accidentally got rid of something there. Cube, and cube. And then we can't forget to add the parentheses at the end. There should be two more. And there you go. That's how you make sure you can save that real quick. And that is how you add custom. Uh, that's how you customize this uh, armor stand uh, render controller. 
So hopefully that everything goes well. We're going to open up Minecraft now and see if everything works. And if it does, um, then we should be all good. If not, we'll come back in here and figure out what we did wrong. Now the beauty of putting our uh, resource pack in the developmental resource pack folder is that we shouldn't have to reload anything. But, oh, I forgot to, I turned off my texture pack. Hold on. I forgot to turn it back on. Um, but yeah, the beauty is that we shouldn't have to uh, reload anything. It should just be um, all good. We should be able to just join the world and everything is uh, is changed. There's no need to reload the resource pack. But I forgot to put it back on, so um, I, of course, have to reload it. And yeah, it looks like everything is good. This is my cube. I already like set up an armor stand here. And it looks to be pretty good. Let me just make another one just to show off that it is working. So yes, we have the cube. And let me just double check, make sure that our capitalized one is, is working as well. Real quick, cube with the capital C. And yep, that's working as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed um, this uh, download for this example pack will be in the description. It's on my MCP yeah, MCPEDL page. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this is useful. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them in the comment uh, comments. This is a very very complicated um, thing though, so it, I might not be able to explain how to actually do it in the comments. And if I forget something, oh, it's raining. Okay, thank you, Minecraft. Um, if I forget something, I'll try, I'll make sure to put like an update somewhere, um, showing you how to, you know, fix whatever problem I forgot to mention. Anyway, I hope you, uh, had a good day and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to someone and, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.